everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made my um, custom Valentine's Day cards and envelopes this year. I don't think I have any that haven't been addressed so let's see. Let's see if I can cover this up. So this is pretty much the end result right here um, with an envelope. And then I've decorated the outside with some stickers and then on the inside I've just stuffed full of Valentine's Day goodies and um, I'm just gonna kind of quickly show you how I made this now this is not a professional tutorial by any means but I figured it's Valentine's Day soon and I would um, try to film a quick tutorial of what I did now please I'm going to try to be as descriptive as, as possible, but please don't like come at me <laughs> for very specific details because I didn't use very specific details. I just wung it, winged it. I shot from the hip with this entire project and I'm, I just want to show you what I did. I, like I said, but I'll try to be as descriptive as possible if you want to follow this to the T. All right, so I've already cut my papers down and I cut and let me start at the beginning. These two papers I have cut um, to 11 by 11. These used to be 12 by 12 papers. I cut them down to 11 by 11. Um, 11 by 11. Um, and I will tell you why. The envelope maker that I have, this thing is the devil, by the way. <laughs> I've had this thing for over a year, and it took my husband playing with it for five seconds to figure out how the heck it's supposed to work. I try to do one off camera. I'm going to try to do one on camera, but chances are I'm probably going to ruin it. Because <laughs> this thing, it, the directions are super simple. I just don't have an engineer's brain. So let's get going. So like I said, I've already cut one. So this is what our envelope in the end should look like. It's going to look like so. Once it's folded, cutted, and taped. Folded, cut, and taped. So let's try to do this one. Now like I said, I've already cut it to 11 by 11 and this is why. Because the 11 by 11 paper makes um, an envelope that's six by eight. So according to this, I need to line up my left margin to the four and seventh eighths thing, punch and score. And let me get my little folder here. Now this paper is super thick, so it's kind of hard to find the uh, the scoring guy. Like the <laughs> this thing is the devil. Um, so. I'm gonna try to find it and go up. And then you're supposed to score. Now, from this point, you're supposed to use this score line and line it up with this thing. Punch and score. So I'm gonna score and punch. Line that line up. And like I said, this paper is scrapbook paper, so it's kind of thick, so it's kind of hard to feel that score mark really well. That's why I'm kind of rubbing it to find it. And oh, I forgot to punch this last side. This thing. Okay. So I have punched and scored, and I rounded the corners as well, just because it gives it more of a finished look. So now. I'm going to fold along my score marks. Now I tried to score um, pretty lightly. I didn't want to go too deep. My husband was scoring when he was when we did this together last weekend. He scored, and he um, has heavy hands, of course, and so he was ripping through the paper pretty bad. And so I had to um, tape a lot of them really, really well because I didn't want them to rip open in the mail. So here is our envelope. Now let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna make this side the bottom since there's this little crunch here. Let's see if I have some scissors to kind of cut a little bit away. 
Like I said, I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be. Um, I just had all of this scrapbook paper around and I'm trying to clear my stash out. So, okay. Now we have this super thin double-sided sticky tape and then I also have some thicker stuff that I'm going to use for this envelope. And I'm going to put the tape on these edges right here. So I'm just going to put the tape right here and right here. And I just got this, um, shoot, I don't even remember. I can, you can find it at any craft store, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. It's just double-sided sticky tape. There's nothing special about this brand. Just whatever I had in my stash. All right, so there is our envelope. Ready to be put aside. Let's go ahead and tape this one down. Now the reason I wanted to make six by eight envelopes is because I wanted to have enough space to make a big enough card to stuff it full of stuff. Um, mostly I wanted to send doilies because I have a lot of doilies, first of all, and doilies just remind me of Valentine's Day. So that was the aim, was, was to be able to put doilies into the cards. All right. Let's fold this down. Envelope number two. Again, not perfect, and it measures eight by whoop, six and a half, I guess. That's weird how that turned out. Um, I don't really care, it doesn't bother me. This one turned out to be six and a half by eight as well. Like I said, the envelope maker is the double. So there are my envelopes, I'm gonna set these aside. Now, with these papers, they were 12 by 12 scrapbook papers. I took my envelope, I had, I made a bunch of these, and I just took a piece of paper, this used to be 12 by 12, and I just marked wherever it would fit into this envelope. I didn't use any measurements and nothing like that, but for the sake of the video, I will show you what this measures to be. This is 12 by, looks like seven and a half almost, something like that, if you want to be exact. I'm just going to fold this in half using no real rhyme or reason because I've already checked to make sure that it will let me get my bone folder um, fit in the envelope and like I said I've made 10 of these I think so far so it doesn't truly matter to me ta-da there we go two cards and they're cute too, I have to say. And I'm gonna show you, they fit inside the envelope just perfectly. Show you the other one, just so you know. I'm gonna get a million questions about this, I already know, which is fine. I don't wanna deter you from asking questions, this is fun. Okay, now, when I was cutting these papers, I saved the scraps. Um, they're already in my trash can. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to probably use this one, but I will use these three and then I've got these two pieces right here. I just want to make sure I'm still in frame really well. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to open these and cut, get my ugly, I'll use my smaller one, um, thing. And I'm going to cut right around here where this median is. All right, so. I'm going to use my thin stuff here and I'm going to put tape along the bottom and this side so 
and we're going to fold it out. Gonna stick it in right there. And boom, pocket. Now I can put whatever I want in here. And I've just got this paper right here. I can stick stuff in. You get the picture. Now I'm going to do one along the edge right here. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna kind of roughly measure with my fingernail. Nothing exactly precise. And I've also saved this scrap, and I'm going to show you what. I'm going to put my super thin tape along the edge of this instead of the paper. And then I've got this piece right here that I'm just gonna put right there. And I'm gonna use probably the thicker tape. Just wanna make sure what side I'm putting it on. And this just makes the pocket a little bit bigger to hold on to things a little bit better. And then I'm gonna put some on the bottom. I'll just use the thin stuff. Kinda of keep things in on the bottom. Trying to go as quickly as possible because I hate when videos get too long and I want to make sure that I get all the adhesive on the paper and not on the back of the card. There we go. Now I've got a side pocket. Oh, bottom didn't stick too well. That I can stuff the stuff in. Where is that piece of paper? You know what? Here, I'll just use this. Now I can stuff stuff in on the side right here. So that is pretty much it. I um, have this other one that I'm probably not going to make on camera because you guys get the point and I don't want to make this video super long and redundant but yeah and they fit perfectly in these cards and then like me I use these Kate Spade telegram things as my address label I slid it through my typewriter put my return address here and the please deliver here I've got plenty of room for postage right here, which in the States is about 333 and the domestic or um, international is like 450 or something. So yeah, that is all I've got for you. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to leave them down below. I tried to be as thorough as I could. Um, but yeah, that is all I've got for you. Sorry this video is so rushed. I really want to get it up so you guys have enough time to make these for yourself. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me for my Valentine's Day video. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.